everybody, Playtendo Guy here, and today I'm about to talk to you about the special little announcement Nintendo showed us today. The Nintendo Switch will receive a new redesign called the Nintendo Switch Lite. Yes, the worst kept secret in gaming has finally been announced. After months of endless rumours and speculation, it is coming and it's not too far off with the release date of the 20th of September, which is already a big day as Zelda Link's Awakening and the physical release of Tetris 99 will also release on the same day, so a very expensive day indeed. The Nintendo Switch Lite is, as I said, launching on the 20th of September, at a suggested retail price in the US of $199. As for the UK, it's £199.99, pence, and the EU, it's up to the retailers, but I should imagine it'll be €199. Euros. But the price hasn't been announced yet. The design of the Switch Lite is noticeably smaller than the normal Switch, and it comes in three different colours, yellow, grey and turquoise. There's no detachable Joy-Cons here, the controllers and screen are all one unit now. But the most interesting change to the controllers is that there's finally a D-pad now instead of the left, right, up and down buttons, which is a much better choice. But with the inclusion of the D-pad, the light will not support the HD rumble or the IR motion camera, which isn't a surprise. More details on the console now, the light will be 100% handheld only with no ability to dock the console to the TV whatsoever, so no dock or HDMI cable here. There's also no kickback stand either, so no tabletop play as well. Nintendo showed that you must check the back of the Switch game boxes to see if your title supports handheld mode. Titles like Super Mario Party, 1-2 Switch and the Labo games won't be fully supported with the light. Some good news is that you can pair Joy-Cons with the light, but obviously it'll be a bit awkward without the kickback stand, and you'll need a Joy-Con charging set to charge your Joy-Cons. The weight of the Switch light will be much lighter than a normal Switch with the Joy-Cons attached. The Switch's 6.2 inch screen will be slightly smaller on the light at 5.5 inches, but still remain 720p. Battery life will be slightly improved over the originals 2.5 to 6.5, hours to three to seven hours. The battery life obviously depends on the game. And finally, the internal storage will be the same as a normal Switch at 32 gigabytes. As for the contents of the box, you'll get the Switch light of your chosen color and an AC adapter. It's also worth noting that there's going to be a specially designed Pokemon Switch light to celebrate the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield that will come out at the launch of the game. Though unfortunately, the game isn't included, which is a bit weird. Overall, the announcement has come pretty much out of the blue, even though we all knew it was coming. And I must admit, it's a lovely looking console, and it will no doubt be a huge seller for Nintendo. It's a shame that a lot of the Switch's more iconic features, like the ability to switch between the TV and the screen, have been stripped back entirely. And there's a lack of technical improvements, but it isn't really aimed at the hardcore gamer or like the proper Nintendo fan. Instead, it's for folks who are new to gaming or who just want a cheaper introduction to Switch. Similar to the 2DS or the DS Lite, the Switch Lite will be targeting the family audience and casual players who don't play video games a lot. But that being said, it is a clever marketing move as a lot of Switch players primarily play their Switch in handheld mode. A recent survey did actually support that, so that's another audience for the Switch Lite to cater for. Will I go for the Switch Lite? That is the question. And at the moment, I'm certainly intrigued by the console. It would have been an instant buy if they included some more premium enhancements like improved resolution or even a better battery life. But that's obviously been reserved for the eventual Switch Pro, which will highly likely come out next year. But as it is, it's a lovely looking and rather stylish console that isn't really aimed at people like me or you who are probably watching this. It's aimed for people who are commuting or prefer handheld play or who are new to gaming in general. And I have no doubt that it will be a massive success for the holidays and it will shift a lot of games. Games like Animal Crossing will be huge on this. Will I get it? I'm going to wait and see if there's any Black Friday sales offering any good offers. But anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about the Switch Lite in the comments below. 
Are you going to get it? Are you going to wait? Or are you going to wait for a pro? Anyway, until next time, happy gaming. Bye.